Uh, when I came in in 75, we used to have a coffee shop. Uh -huh. And uh, all the stars used to come down for breakfast. And all the groupies would be all around them. Uh, Santana, Deep Purple, Let's Happen. Uh, Little Richard was sitting in the restaurant uh, having, I think it was lunch at that time. And then, then um, I was checking in BB King, and he looks out of the side of his eye and sees Little Richard in the restaurant. And he goes, "Excuse me, young man, I need to go talk to the King." And then Bo Diddley was coming off of the elevator, and then I hear Bo Diddley before I walk BB King to the restaurant say, "Hey, I need to go talk to the King." And one of the things that really stuck with me was that they kept calling him the King, the King, the King. And then I started calling him the king. He didn't like it when I called him the king. But it was okay for them to call him the king. He said, no, just call me Little Richard. Well, I was here when Little Richard lived in the hotel. He lived at the end of the hallway. He came down every Saturday. If you worked for Richard, you went to church with Richard. So the whole team would go to church on Saturday. So all our guests knew when they could come down to the lobby and meet Richard. I remember the most Little Richard. Yeah. Little Richard, because he was with us for 20 years. He used to deliver his room service every day or in the night. Um, he was very nice, very nice guy. <laughs> and when I would go to Little Richard's room, after he got to know you, he would invite you in. And so after a while, he started inviting me in. And then one of the things that I noticed was on his wall, there were pictures of everybody, of who's who in rock and roll. From the Beatles to the Rolling Stones to Jimi Hendrix to David Bowie uh, to James Brown. Everybody, and, he, and there was a story behind each one of those pictures. And I was here when, when uh, Mr. Plant was doing the album with Allison Cross, and it was his first time back. So I had the pleasure of escorting him up to his suite, and him and his friend stopped at the hallway and just did this and started shaking their heads, looking down the hall. And I said, reminiscing, Mr. Plant? And he said, Dean, they banned me from this hotel 30 years ago, and I'm back. He said, I was checking into my suite, and he said, someone was on my balcony, knocking on the balcony door. He said, so I went over, I opened it, and there was Keith Moon in a waiter's outfit with a tray with two cocktails on it. He said, welcome to Hollywood. And he said, and I looked behind him, and there was a rope hanging down from the balcony above. My second story was uh, Bob Dylan's um, backup band in the mid-60s was a group called The Band. And the drummer from that group, his name was Levon Helm, and he used to stay here all the time. Um, became really, that group, once they broke off from Bob Dylan, became really big and influential in the 60s. The Last Waltz was uh, a movie made about that group. But what really struck, stuck out, stuck with me about that, uh, about him, was whenever I would check him in, he always remembered me. And then I could always sit in his room and the same thing, just like Little Richard, we would just talk about rock and roll history. From where he, from where he came from, to how he grew up, to how he got started, and always, always encouraging. And always talking about music and what's going on and what he did, and he never really retired from music either. That was kind of his life. When I was here when Aaron Manson stayed for a month. They were the nicest, nicest group of guys, except Manson, he was a little strange. Um, but the funny part about that story is they were looking for a house on Laurel Canyon, so they moved into the hotel. They were looking for a house. Uh, I think they got one on Laurel Canyon, but they moved into the hotel while they were looking. And um, after they moved, they got the house, they moved out of the hotel. About a month or so later, the MTV Awards were happening. And so we had all the contest winners that were staying at the hotel. They won trips that. So I check in this little old couple, and I'm taking them up the elevator, and I said, oh, what brings you in? And they said, the MTV Awards. And I went, oh, fantastic. I said, did you win the contest? They said, no, our son's performing. And as a joke, I said, oh, who, Marilyn Manson? And they went, how did you know that? 